incredible. 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 I'm sorry this video is a little bit late. I have been really busy this week. My car is broken and I've just had a lot on with the kids going back to school so I'm filming as soon as I could manage it. So basically today I want to do a Rita Ora inspired makeup look. I've done a lot of smoky eyes and I've done sort of the same thing going on and on and on for quite a while now so I wanted to change it up a bit and do something. It's a really simple and easy look but I wanted to change it up with the lip. She's got a gorgeous red lip on and I haven't done a red lip in ages if I have ever done one actually I'm not quite sure so I stalked her as we always do when we watch these looks and in this picture with Grimmy from the X Factor she just looks lush it's so simple and so easy but I mean the pose helps let's be honest but the look is stunning so I love the red lip I'm gonna begin by using the Laura Mercier oil free foundation primer this is great for mattifying face I am a little bit oily at the moment so I'm finding that I need to use this quite a lot at the moment so next the foundation that I am loving at the moment is the L'Oreal Paris infallible 24 stay fresh foundation and I'm going to spread it all over my face um, fights makeup meltdown which we all know can happen quite a lot. I'm loving the look of this. It just seems to last forever on my skin. It doesn't fight me. I can wear it for as long as I like. Then I'll just blend out with a brush. I find that I do use three of this one instead of two. I don't know why. To conceal and highlight okay I'm going to use the Urban Decay Naked Skin Primer um, this is in Fair Neutral which is super bright but I do find that I need that brightening look <laughs> and I'm just gonna blend that in with a rather damp Real Techniques face sponge And just to set that before it ends up creasing on me, I'm going to go with my ever faithful mineralized skin finish in light. And I'm just using the Real Techniques Bold Metals 100 brush. I like this as my light lips powder brush. Okay, I'm quickly gonna do my brows. In the picture she has got, I mean, she's got awesome eyebrows anyway. So I'm just going to use what I'm using at the moment which is the Soap and Glory Archery and this one is in Hot Chocolate. It's just like the Anastasia Beverly Wales but obviously the tones are a lot different. This one's a lot ashier which I've decided I'm not loving so I am going to order the Anastasia Beverly Hills again but this is just what I'm using at the moment so I'm going to fill them in and overdraw them quite a lot. I'm not really going with her shape, I'm just sticking with what looks good on me. I don't feel like a big arch really looks good on me because I feel like it makes me look like a bit of a bitch and a bit angry. <laughs> so I'm just going with what looks good on me. See the difference? Big brows. Big, big, big. Just to set them in place, I'm going to use the Revlon Brow Fantasy by Calaste um, in dark brown. Okay, for eye makeup, she hasn't got a lot on. She's got white um, and she's got a tiny bit of a crease definition colour. And I'm just going to start working that into my crease. I've already got concealer on. In fact, I'm just going to go over my eyes again. There's nothing extra on this sponge. 
and I'm literally just giving them some extra coverage there. So I've decided for the crease definition colour I'm going to stick with the Naked Basics 2 palette. And I think I'm going to take um, Cover, which is slightly darker than Frisk, but I also think that it's um, a more similar tone than she's got on. I think Frisk is slightly too grey and toned, where she does look like she's got something slightly warmer in the crease there, so I'm taking the tiniest amount. Okay. And then onto a flat brush. I want something really white and bright, so I'm gonna go into the Laurette Mega Pro 2 palette and I'm going to take white, which is the whitest white that I have. I'm just taking that onto, generously onto a flat definer brush. And I'm just going to add it onto my brow bone. make the eyelid pop a lot more I'm going to take a white eyeliner and go all over the lid with it. into the Lorac Mega Pro 2 palette and I'm going to go back to white just onto a smaller, this is the short shader from Jessup's and I've got quite a jealous from that. I'm just going to pack that onto the lid, being careful not to go up onto the crease colour that we've done because I feel weird with these big brows on. Okay so next what am I going to do? Let's do some mascara. I'm just going to slightly curl my lashes. Nothing major because we're putting lashes on. And I'm going to use the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. Just a light coat. I'm not going in with a second coat or anything. Okay, I'm going to take, I don't want to take white. I want to take like a flesh coned colour into my waterline so I'm going to take uh, from Scandalize this is a coal liner and I don't know what shade it's in oh just 005 nude mm. so I'm just going to take that into my waterline I can't tell what kind of lashes she's got on so um, so I think I'm just going to go in with some of the Demi Wispies just to give it some drama and because I'm awesome, I can't find my glue. So I am just going to use the cheapy, shitty glue that comes with them. Because it's so fun doing it like that. Okay, just a coat of bottom lash mascara. And I've just suddenly decided that I don't like the Too Faced bottom. No, not the Too Faced bottom lash mascara. The Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara on my bottom lashes. Because, um... It seems to run onto my under eye, so I'm going in with the Lash Sensational Lash, Mas Lash Multiply Mascara from Maybelline. For my contour, I don't really think she's got anything major on, and I haven't even used this yet, but I picked it up thinking it looked interesting. It's from Maybelline New York, and it's the Master Sculpt, and it comes with a highlighter as well, but it's just really cool toned. She really doesn't look like she's got anything massive on. It does come with a brush, actually. I might give that one a go like a mini review that's quite a good brush it's not too bad so I'm just going to take some of this it's quite a good little brush actually it just gets right in that curve and just allows you to bring it up mm -hmm. for my forehead I'm going to use a different brush which one shall I use this is another Jessup's brush, it's just the tapered face brush. I'm just going to brush a little bit on my temples. Whoa, that looks like so much more on camera than it actually is. I like this. It's like the perfect shade. 
and then I'm just going to take a smaller brush. This is another Jessup's brush. Can you tell I like Jessup's brushes? And do a bit of nose contouring. Okay. What has she got on for blush and highlight, if any? I, I really don't. I can't tell in the picture. It's the only one that I could find of this look. I really don't know if she's got any blush on, but I think she might have. So it actually looks to me in one side of the picture it's a bit darker. She looks a bit orangey, and on one side she looks a bit more like she's barely got anything on. So do you know? What? I think I might just take some of the Mac Mineralized Skin Finish, and this is in dark. I think I'm just going to take a slight touch of that onto my cheek onto my cheeks but not onto the apples just back a bit I'm not actually gonna put any highlighter on because I don't think she has any on um, now just for the lip I'm gonna take stripped down lip liner from Mac just for an outline because with red lippy you always need it okay and for my lipstick uh, lipstick I'm gonna take the 17 stay pout in date night this is a very, very bright blue undertoned red. And then if you F up like me, okay, a tiny bit of conceal it again and clean that baby up. And there you have the finished makeup look, inspired by the stunning Rita Aura from the X Factor auditions. She's been wearing this throughout the, um, the you know, the auditions when the people are in there before the boot camp. Um, so if you want to see it, go and check it out. Thank you for um, watching. I'm sorry this video was late. Please do go ahead and check out my Instagram and all my social media. I will link it down below. Check out my previous videos and please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you next time. Bye.